how are we rolling today, people? Uh, how's your Friday? Uh, today is Friday, right? Yeah, today is Friday. Uh, it is the last day of the week for Art Talk. Uh, we don't do Art Talk on the weekends. I need time to recoup and take care of uh, business and family stuff and things like that. Uh, we got some stuff going on here as we uh, begin to roll. We are live. Uh, good morning, Dustin. You're the first guy in. Tommy, uh, thanks for joining us today on episode eight of Art Talk. Raymond's here. Uh, Art is here. Uh, we, yeah, this is, we're booking. Uh, Dave, good morning, guys. Uh, I hope everybody's having a spectacular uh, Friday. Wes, good morning. Daily Driver Project. Big plug, dailydriverproject.com. Uh, you want to go and see uh, Wes's amazing uh, photography, uh, car, car photography. What is going on with my hair? What, what's going on? I can't do anything about that. Who cares? Um, authenticity. If something's out of place, out of whack, that's just the way it is. That's what you get with uh, with live broadcast. Cindy, good morning. Um, what are you up to today? Uh, it's Friday. We got some uh, uh, really neat things to talk about today. I always write notes. I write notes to make sure that I stay on point with you guys. And I'm looking at the wrong notes. Okay, wait. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. I'm good. Uh, Brad's here. Kenneth is here. Uh, good morning, guys. This is Art Talk. If this is your first time, I see some, some names that I don't necessarily recognize. So if this is your first time uh, on Art Talk, this uh, my name is Fireball. Uh, that is my first name. That's my legal first name. I'm not messing around. That's that's just what it is. It's what my mom screamed as I was making my way into the world, and it stuck. And that's that's what it is. Uh, this is episode eight of Heart Talk. Of Art Talk, uh, Heart Talk. Uh, that's a good title too. Uh, Brad says, "Hi Tim. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy the day." I will. I will because that's all that exists in my life. That's my choice. Same to you, Brad. Uh, Gregory Wilkin. Thanks for joining me, Gregory. Uh, let me know where you guys are. The neat thing uh, that uh, in dealing with Art Talk, uh, a live format, is that you guys can tell me not only where you are, but you can tell me, you know, maybe a cool car that you drive, right? And you can ask questions as we, as we make our way through today's subject, today's inspiration. Uh, hopefully it's inspiring. It's inspiring to me to think about this stuff. And uh, here on our talk, I want to be able to share that with you guys. So it's a swift kick in the ass, boom, to get you guys moving. Uh, Jeremy, uh, good morning. Uh, Art says, someone said Art. That's true. Uh, lower, slower Delaware. Okay, so Delaware is kind of smoothing out on the weekend. That's good. Uh, Delaware, is that the world's smallest state? Uh, I think it might be. Uh, it's pretty tiny. I think that you can, when you first enter Delaware, you turn around and then you leave. It's, it's not that big, okay? Uh, Lake George, New York for Gregory. Very nice. Uh, New York City, you guys got to be cold out there. Uh, we're we're, we're kind of chilly here, but I can't complain because chilly for Malibu is like 63 or something like that. So I can't really whine too much about that. Uh, Art says that uh, Delaware is the second smallest state. What's the smallest? Which one's the smallest? Don't know. Anybody? Anybody? Who's got the smallest state? Anybody in that small state right now? There's only like two people in that state. So one of you got to be watching our talk. Uh, today's subject. Okay, guys, we've, we've talked about a variety of, of interesting things to help you be your, your strongest creative self. Um, let's see. Uh, what, wait, hold on a second. Cindy just said something. Wes and I working on the vintage trailer for Buellton. Yes, if you guys haven't been to Buellton. Um, Rhode Island is a small one. Oh yes, Rhode Island. That's that's right. Uh, you know what? I don't know why I was thinking. I was thinking Delaware, and never mind. You know, it's just the way my brain works. Uh, Rick, Rick White is here. Hey bud, you made it uh, to uh, Art Talk. Very cool. Gregory, Long Island was, if if it was a state, yeah, that's right. Long Island should be a state because it's that cool, man. Uh, today's subject, we're going to talk about um, how. Small steps lead to great changes, big changes. And uh, I want you guys to understand the importance, the amazing value, the truly spectacular power of small steps, uh, simple steps. And I'll tell you a couple of stories as we, as we get into this. But one quick story is that we have a, uh, had a neighbor who was a, uh, a, a trainer at a gym. Uh, good morning, Jerry. Uh, trainer Jim and and Kathy at, at a particular time in her life many years ago she was having trouble um, building strength and uh, she wanted to do push-ups but she could only do about four you know she couldn't really do too many push-ups and she just hadn't built built that strength and she wanted to do like 15 or 20 and and um, 
uh, she would try and then she would topple over and she wouldn't be able to make it. And that's not the way necessarily to go about it. So uh, as uh, we were, we were uh, outside and we saw our, our neighbor, uh, Jeremy is from Louisiana. Yes, you bet. I will keep up the cool vids for sure. You bet. Thanks, Jeremy, for saying that. Appreciate that. Gilberto's with us. So um, this uh, uh, gentleman uh, who was his trainer said to Kathy that you don't have to do 15 push-ups. You just have to do one more. You just have to do one more. Today, do four. Tomorrow, try to do five. And the next day, try to do six. And small steps, through small steps, she began to do that and cut to about maybe a month later, not even a month later, she was up to 35, 35 push-ups. Uh, pretty amazing. Small steps, small steps, people. Uh, Jerry's in Oxnard, of course, uh, uh, where the Murphy Auto Museum is, where we're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so uh, small steps, you know, the, the thing is that we, we kind of underestimate the power of small steps because we want to move quicker. We, we think that we need to be um, uh, progressing faster. And uh, if you can look at your life in, in, in this way, that it, depending on what, what it is that you're working on, and uh, you can, let's say, uh, I want to improve my relationship, you know, with my wife or my husband or maybe my boss. My boss hates me and he's an a-hole. And how do I improve that? How do I go about uh, um, moving forward? Uh, Rick says he's doing sit-ups now. Uh, keep it going, buddy. Keep it going. Get those, get those, that six-pack working. Nice. Uh, I'm wearing my Chicago shirt today. Chi-town. Very cool. Uh, Wes is joining us. Very cool. So um, small steps uh, lead to big changes. And it's important to recognize if you have a relationship where things are not working the way that you want them to work, you can use this ideal uh, and small steps to improve that. What's one thing that you can do today to improve your relationship? What's one thing that you can do that is in a direction that serves you? And that's, that's the key. That's the key right there. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to break this down into three sections. And, and this will help you guys understand um, if you're saying, oh, I don't know where to start. I want to do this thing, but I don't know how to go about it. I don't know, you know what to do first or things like that. Uh, good morning, Dan, Douglas. Uh, we got some good people. This is awesome. This is very exciting. Uh, thank you guys for joining us on Art Talk. And uh, as we, uh, before I get into these three things, just as a reminder, this is Art Talk. I'm Fireball, your host. Uh, this happens every weekday morning at 8. It's Art Talk at 8. Uh, I try to make it as close to 8 as I can. Sometimes we got car shows and things. You may not always get an Art Talk from my studio here. You may get it from a car show. You may get, we may get a celebrity guest. You never know. Any, anything can show up. Um, it, this is live, so you guys can ask questions. You can interact with each other, which is very cool. Um, and, and I ask only one thing, and that is that if you do get something out of these talks, please share it. There's a lot of people out there in the world that are struggling and having a hard time trying to figure their lives out and, and make their creative self better uh, artistically, whether you're, a, you're an artist of some capacity or whether you want to build something, even if you want to build a treehouse, you know, whatever it is. Uh, if you want to retire, if you want to take some creative steps, then you want to be able to to uh, move forward with that, and you need a kind of a kick in the ass. And that's what this is. This is kind of an, uh, some automotive inspiration. You know, this is something that, that I think that uh, hopefully uh, can help you guys. It certainly has helped me. And I spend my days uh, listening to videos that inspire me as well. So um, you got to get out there and you got to make some progress uh, through small steps. Small steps, not the big ones. The big ones come, right? You build a wall one brick at a time, and that brick, each individual brick, has to be laid perfectly. Right, you got to think about that. So if you build, if you if you put that brick down and kind of haphazardly, not that good, then what happens to the wall? <clears throat> right, you don't want to do that. So we want to spend our time doing uh, each day those small steps in the best possible way, in a direction that serves us. Okay, so the first the first notion that we have to consider is where do we want to go? I mean, you wouldn't get on a plane without a, a, a plan as to where you want to go. You just kind of fly around and eventually fall out of the sky. So you have to have an idea of which direction you want to go. I want to build a car. Well, what kind of car? Uh, I want to uh, add an, uh, create an addition to my house. Well, what exactly do you want to create? Um, I want to have a, a girlfriend. Well, um, you know, where do those people hang out? You know, uh, uh, you have to start to have an ideal as to what it is that you want to do that improves your life. Something that that makes you feel empowered and that you're moving forward and you're making progress. So it's important to have a clear vision, to have a clear vision on what that is. 
And as you identify that vision, generally what I ask people when I do seminars and things like that, um, if they don't know what they want, I, I, I ask them that, uh, what do you like to do on the weekends? What do you enjoy doing on the weekends? We talked about this in yesterday's Art Talk a bit. Um, if you can identify what you love, then you can you can uh, uh, have a better, clearer picture. It's just that, and we mentioned this before, is that people don't succeed because either they don't know what they want or they do know what they want, but they don't really believe that they can have it. And a belief system is of supreme importance. You guys know this. Okay, so if you do, if you can identify, if you're in stage two and you can identify what it is that you want, then you need to put together a plan. And what I do when I either build cars or that I'm putting together a project, something like that, I don't worry about the order of things, but I write down every idea that I can possibly think of in regards to this project. Hold on. Sometimes I'm talking so fast, I need a little fuel, a little, little moisture there. Okay. Uh, as you, you put together your plan, you write down everything that, that you can think of that'll help you, that'll uh, move forward. And as an example, I was, uh, I was working on a car project many years ago, and it was a big sponsored project. We had to identify which car. And once we identified which car, we had to figure out, you know, what was I going to do to that? You know, and I couldn't figure out what to do with it. So I had to conceptualize. I had to do some renderings. I had to do some ideation things that, that I could do. And then I, I started to make a list of my dream car, all the things that I would want to do in that car, just a massive list and just work on it, work on it. And then if I couldn't think of anything else, I would set the list aside and I would go do something else. And then the next day I would come back to the list and say, oh, is there anything else I could add to this? And sure enough, boop, something popped in my head. I'd add one thing. And over maybe a period of about a few weeks is I would start to add, I'd make a pretty heavy list. And once I felt the list was complete, or as complete as I could make it, then I put that list in order, in order of how I would go about putting that. And sometimes that order can be cost. You know, you want to do the cheapest thing first. Uh, maybe it's you have resources or something like uh, I got a guy that can do interiors. I got a guy that can that can get us hook us up with an exhaust or you know wh whatever it is. Uh, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be cars. It's if if you want to have let's say uh, a, a relationship with someone and uh, you, you you know that's not going to happen if you spend all your your time at home and you don't get out there. So you got to make a list of what what are the things that I could do that that might uh, open me up to the possibility of hooking up with somebody somewhere, right? And you can make a list of car shows and things that you like to do. I like going to the movies. I like going out to dinner. I like doing this. I like doing that. You got to get out there. You got to get out there. And the and and as they say in the Bible, we talked about this yesterday. When you pray, move your feet. You know what does that mean? Prayer is not necessarily a big a big religious thing. Prayer is simply concentrated thought in a given direction. It's putting out there what it is that you want with faith and purpose and belief, right? That's that's true prayer. Prayer is not begging. You know, you don't go like, please, please give me that thing. That's not prayer. Prayer is saying that this is what I want. I don't necessarily know how to get it, but I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have faith that what I want is going to come to me if I just get into action, if I go do that thing, okay? So, putting together your plan, right? Now you got it in order. And then what do you do? What do you do with that plan? You got this, this page that's got all this, all this gobbledygook. If, if you need to take that first thing on that page and break that down into 10 steps, then you got to break it down into manageable bites. And this is where, this is where it all comes together. This is where the, the whole point of today's talk, small steps add up to great things. If you do that first thing, that first thing that's on the list and for, sometimes it's motivation is, is difficult. It's like you, you know, I, you know, you should do that first thing, but you, you don't want to do it or you can't do it or you're, ah, you're running out of time and blah, blah, blah. Lots of things kind of get in the way, but that's a choice. You got to make that commitment to do that first thing, whatever that first thing may be. Maybe a phone call. It may be an email. It may be a text. Um, if you don't have time to do that, then you got to pack it in because everybody's got time to, to do that. We're texting gobbledygook to each other all the time, right? So, you got to take that first step. And then the third part to that um, is that you have to make sure that those steps that you're taking are steps in the direction that best serves you. Is it is it actually a step that you're taking that is moving you forward to the thing that you want, right? That's crucial, okay? 
So um, what I found in the mornings, I have kind of a ritual that I do in the morning, is I spend about five minutes meditating. I spend, and that's kind of clearing my mind, trying to kind of just being open to receiving ideas, right? Just trying to clear my mind. And, um, and I spend five minutes uh, uh, visualizing, visualizing what it is I want. So I, I have like a movie going on in my head as to what I want the next thing to be and to be able to see it as clearly as I can. And, and then the third step is I, I use some affirmations that I can repeat to myself and, and uh, so that I, I'm, I'm reprogramming my brain. I'm, I'm re, re, retexting. Retexting, is that a word? I don't know. Retexting my brain. I'm texting my brain saying, this is what we want to have. And through that process of that triptych, that's 15 minutes. You know, 15 minutes in the morning when you have your coffee or you have your glass of water. Sorry, I just whacked it. My elbow. You got to have 15 minutes in the morning for some kind of ritual, uh, you know, go to the gym or, or something, something that you can do that. What Kathy does when she goes to the gym, she takes a, a uh, uh, like a boot camp class. She takes like a, a punching bag class, which is great because then she's not punching me, but she's, she's punching the bags and things like that. But while she's doing that, she's saying affirmations. She's saying the things that she wants as she's working out. And that's very powerful because that's a heightened emotional state. And, and that's, that can be very powerful. So, uh, there's a lot of aspects to this, but the, the goal is to take the first step. And there's lots of things that we can talk about, but I have to give these in microbursts to you guys because um, uh, it's easier to understand when we take art talk as small steps, right? Art talk is, is this is like a small step that you guys can do today to, to make your day better, okay? So you still listening? You still with me? Any comments there? You guys still with me? Hanging out? Okay, let's keep it going. Um, is there anything that you guys uh, can share with each other? Any stories or anything that you can you can share with each other that kind of gets you guys on track? That get, that can kind of inspire each other to kind of move forward. You know, um, uh, think of something, um, uh, any story or any quip or something that that kind of helps each other, helps in, uh, to inspire each other as we move forward in this day. Because I want you to get out there today even though it's Friday, wrap some stuff up, look forward to the weekend. Now, the other thing about small steps is that if you are taking a step, it's nice to have that step to look forward to. It's nice to have something that you can get excited about, right? So, and, and those are small successes also, and that's really important, okay? So, as we progress forward uh, and understand that small steps lead to much bigger things. It's much easier to take a small step. It's much easier to kind of move forward in a, in a tiny way. Okay, that's kind of all I got for you today. And, um, uh, and it's easy to apply, all right? So I want you guys to get out there, especially for this weekend, and do what it is that you can and take those small steps. And you'll see over that period of time of a week of taking a small step each day, then you'll be able to progress and you'll be able to look back and see that those things uh, help to to uh, to move you forward. Rick White says, "Hung a picture on my desk of my dream car. Two years later, it was in my driveway. Mine. That's how it works. Uh, that you know. It. I'd like to say uh, that that is. It's magic. It's like a miracle, Rick. But it's really not because that's exactly the way it works. You know. It's. It, you have to have faith and understand that if you visualize something, if you visualize it consistently in your mind, your mind doesn't know whether it's actually seen it." and it's actually happening or it's in your mind. There's no distinguishing factor. So you can literally manifest anything, anything you want, okay? All right, uh, this weekend, tomorrow, I'm going to Race of Gentlemen in Santa Barbara. If any of you are going to that, I may be able to see you there. Uh, it's gonna be a great show because they're, they're doing drags on the sand. Uh, come and hang out, uh, uh, come say hi. Uh, we're gonna be vlogging, so come, maybe you can get on the blog, okay? Um, and be sure to check out our events list on fireballtim.com. We list all the shows that we're interacting with. Okay, we can't list all the shows because there's like 10 billion shows happening in Southern California. But if you want to see where it is that we're going to be in an upcoming weekend, things like that, you want to come hang out with us, have some coffee, whatever it is. Hi, Chrissy. Good morning. Good morning all the way from England. Cool. All right. What time is it in England? Wow. I, I, I don't know what the time change is. Anyway, so... Uh, check out that list on fireballtim.com uh, and uh, you'll get a chance to see where we're going to be uh, as an update. Uh, the 
fireball gallery at the Murphy Museum. We have some furniture that was delivered the other day. It's looking sweet. May 11th is the launch of the, the gallery opening. We have a uh, uh, six artists that are going to be featured. It's going to be a spectacular event. We have a, some street artists called Bohemia Incorporated. Uh, you should check that out, them out on Instagram. They're stealthy. Nobody knows who they are but they're going to be installing something truly spectacular, truly unusual uh, at, this, uh, um, at this event. Uh, Chris says, Retro Classics Stuttgart this Sunday. Fantastic. Uh, Chrissy says it's 420 currently in the UK. Wrapping up the day on Friday. Wrapping up the day. You get to go home. You get to go home, unless you're already home, which maybe you are. Uh, what else was I was going to say? Uh, we have Wheels and Waves coming next weekend, on St. Patrick's Day. You can join us there. And then Muscles and Mojo is coming next month. Okay, be sure to watch to the vlog that went up the other day. Uh, some good stuff there. We got another episode probably going up tomorrow. Uh, Rick White says, thanks, 100 sit-ups. Good to go, brother. Good to go. That's what I like to see. Tomorrow, 101. 101. Keep it up, buddy. All right, guys, have a spectacular weekend. I love you all. I really appreciate the fact that you hang out with me today. And uh, uh, this does a lot for me, too. We're giving to each other. That's what it, how, how it works. The more you put out in the world, the more that comes back to you. The more you give love, the more good stuff comes. All right? So keep it up. Stay present. Uh, keep it positive, guys. We'll talk to you soon.